While The Lincoln Lawyer Season 3 follows the main events of Michael Connolly's The Gods of Guilt, the Netflix show takes some artistic liberties, changing elements to benefit the character arcs and overall narrative. The legal drama continues following Mickey Holler's life as a defense attorney, picking up where The Lincoln Lawyer Season 2 ended with the murder of his former client Gloria Dayton, aka Glory Days. Mickey faces his biggest challenge in a legal case yet because of his personal and professional connection to the victim. The trial of Julian Lacasse for the murder of Glory Days is outlined in the fifth book of Michael Connolly's The Lincoln Lawyer book series. Like past seasons, the Netflix adaptation maintains the biggest parts of the story. However, the showrunners had to pick and choose other parts of the story to include because it's hard to fit a 400-page book into 10 episodes. This is especially true with Connolly's books, which pack action and character development into every page. Luckily, each change in The Lincoln Lawyer season 3 benefited the overall story. The Lincoln lawyer removes the drunk driving accident outlined in The Gods of Guilt. Mickey feels guilt over getting a person out of a DUI charge. A statue of a woman holds a scale on the cover of The Gods of Guilt book. At the end of The Fifth Witness, which The Lincoln Lawyer Season 2 adapts, Mickey Holler makes the decision to switch sides of the law and run for the position of district attorney. As an elected position, he has to run a campaign to win the position. Unfortunately, The Gods of Guilt reveals a tragic event that prevents him from getting the job and sends his mental state and family spiraling. Mickey previously represented a woman arrested on a DUI charge, getting her off without any real consequences. The woman starts driving under the influence again, causing a car crash in which a woman and her daughter die. This single event derails everything for him. He returns to defense attorney work, losing his bid for the DA job. He blames himself for enabling this woman's actions. Additionally, the incident is the first thing that drives a wedge between Mickey, Maggie, and Haley. The choice to leave out the drinking and driving accident benefits the Lincoln lawyer because it paints Mickey in a less bad light. Fans of the show might have felt less empathy towards him if he had been tangentially involved in an aggravated vehicular manslaughter charge. At least with Eddie and Glory Days, he didn't have a direct hand in what happened to them Izzy and Andy play a big role in the Lincoln lawyer season 3. Izzy Letts and Andy Freeman were created for the Netflix series. Two of the main characters of The Lincoln Lawyer Season 3 are Izzy Letts and Andrea Andy Freeman. Izzy spends the season trying to figure out what she really wants to pursue with her career. She tries to get back into professional dance, but she figures out that the career path would put her at risk of going back into active addiction. By the end, she decides to keep her studio, renting it out and occasionally teaching while also working as Mickey's office manager. Andy also takes a more active role this season, starting a casual romantic and sexual relationship with Mickey Holler. This provides Mickey with an intimate confidant as he tries to work through his emotions surrounding the Glory Days case. Interestingly, neither Izzy nor Andy exist in Michael Connolly's The Lincoln Lawyer books. The showrunners and writers created the characters for the Netflix show to fill necessary roles in Mickey's life, and they've developed into fully fleshed-out individuals who are easy to empathize with. As such, their storylines in The Lincoln Lawyer Season 3 don't exist in The Gods of Guilt Mickey doesn't get investigated by the California Bar. Mickey could have gotten disbarred for the forged waiver. Mickey Holler standing in a hallway in The Lincoln Lawyer Season 3. At the end of The Lincoln Lawyer Season 3, Mickey forges a waiver, allowing him to continue Julian Lacoste's trial without him present, an event that also happens in The Gods of Guilt. The veracity of the signature is brought into question in both versions of the story, however, it's resolved in an entirely different way. In The Gods of Guilt, the questionability of the waiver is brought to the California Bar Association, which investigates whether Mickey forged Julian's signature. The issue is eventually dropped because Julian lies and says that he signed the waiver however, in The Lincoln Lawyer, Julian's life partner, David Lyons, plays a part in forging the signature in the TV show. He tells Mickey to do what he has to keep the trial going, allowing him into the hospital room. David then agrees to testify on the matter, confirming that the signature came from Julian. It's unclear whether David knew that to be a lie at the time, but it seems probable, since Julian hadn't been conscious yet when Mickey came to the hospital to get the waiver signature. He also seems to be the kind of person to bend the law to take care of his love. Regardless, Judge Regina Turner accepts the waiver with David's testimony, and Mickey is never investigated by the bar.